everyone. Today I am filming from my couch because I'm lazy and I don't feel like moving. So the topic of today's video is going to be paintbrush recommendations. What style and type of paintbrushes I recommend you use and what brand of paintbrushes I recommend you use. So let's get started. Get my stack. Alright, so if you're anything like me and you really like to paint either nature or wildlife or just things that don't often have really rigid, harsh edges, then the, I think the style of paintbrush that you will like the most is the Filbert. I don't know if you can see the Filbert. I have nothing that flips out on my camera so I can't see anything. But anyways, these are Filberts. They have longer bristles but they're kind of tapered to have a rounder edge so they don't leave harsh lines while you're painting. I have these in a variety of different sizes, um, ranging from a 12 I believe is my biggest all the way down to a zero because they're also just great for painting teeny tiny details. When you're painting with a filbert you can get both really really thick lines when you paint like this and if you use really light pressure on the edge of the brush like this then you can get really thin lines so they're just a really handy brush to have. So, and the other style of brush that I find myself using a lot is rounds. I specifically like rounds for painting on canvases because they're really really good for smushing, smushing, that's a very good technical painting term, but it's really good for smudging out your edges and getting uh, a more seamless blend just because you can kind of do like a like a round, that was probably an attractive face, a nice round smushing motion. None of this makes any sense, but they're really really handy and again I also have these in a variety of sizes from, again, a 12 all the way to, I think, smaller than a zero. I have one, what I believe is a flat brush. Unfortunately, these brushes don't have it labeled, but it definitely looks like a flat, and it's in a size two. This is just really good for getting really, really crisp outlines on things when I need them. I use it sometimes to grow on the edges of my subject when I'm blocking them in with my unbleached titanium white. On top, of, so they stand out on top of the background. I often use this because it creates nice crisp lines. Oh, good work, me! I filmed half this video and realized I had accidentally pressed the zoom button, so half the video was filmed completely zoomed in on my face and blurry. So now moving on to what brands of brushes I like to use. Now the main brand of brushes, brand of brushes. That's really hard to say. That I buy is the. Royal and Lang Nickel Zen brushes. Yes, I did have to read that because I can never ever pronounce their name. But anyways, um, I love these brushes. They are synthetic hair. They are inexpensive and um, pretty easily found at lots of chain art stores uh, across Canada in particular. But I'm sure they can be found other places. Um, they're a good like softness and stiffness for an acrylic brush when you're choosing a brush to acrylic paint with. Um, I once heard somebody say that it needs to be, and it should be kind of soft, but not soft enough that you want to apply your makeup with it. So if you rub it on your face and it feels nice, you probably don't want that for acrylic painting. And then when you flick it, it should feel not like very, very stiff, but it should have a fair amount of stiffness and bounce back to it because if you have something too floppy while you're trying to paint with acrylic paint, it um, it just doesn't really work. But anyway, so yeah, I really like these. I mostly buy mine at Desari's Art in Canada because they always have an excellent selection, whereas at Michael's I find they're usually pretty picked through. I also think they might be cheaper at Desari's. I pay $3.99 a brush at Desari's, and I think they're $4.99 at Michael's. Like also, um, one thing I would like to mention about the Zen brushes is that um, although they're relatively inexpensive, they do last a decently long time. This one in particular I've had for over a year and it's a, a little crusty but still surviving and whenever I don't wash the paint out of it properly, which happens way more than it should because I'm lazy, I just soak it overnight in Windex, which I'm sure over time will probably murder my brush. It's a harsh chemical, but I only pay $3.99 for it, so if it can last a year and a half onwards with me uh, periodically soaking it in Windex to bring it back to life, I'm good with that. I think that is a great, a great deal. So yeah, 
the second brand of brush that I really like. It's kind of a new find and it's the Snap with an exclamation point. Very exciting by Princeton. And first of all, they're really pretty. I don't know if you can see the colors, but they're pretty. And they have different colored handles based on the brushes, sorry, and this is the synthetic hair brushes because that's primarily what I like to paint with. Really thin and lightweight and nice. Your hand doesn't get tired while you're holding it. It has a nice long handle. But what I really like about this particular brand of brush is how soft the bristles are. Now it still has that nice crisp bounce back that you want from an acrylic brush. What I really like to use them for is glazing in my artwork just because they don't create any harsh start and stop lines just because the bristles are so soft. I um, don't remember how much I paid for this one, but I got it at Delta Art in Canada, which I believe is a chain across Canada. So it, sh it is in other locations in Canada. And I'm sure also you can find these somewhere else because Princeton is a fairly common brush making company, but they're just, I'm in love. I only own this one by them because they're a little bit more expensive than the the Zen brushes. They're, I don't think they're a whole lot more expensive, but I tend to buy things for cheaper if I can get them for cheaper. All right, so another brand of paint brushes that I'm gonna talk about, I don't actually know the name because I bought them from my school art store and uh, they don't have a name on them. They have HJ Series 11 Filbert. So um, these are not synthetic hair brushes. These are hog hair bristles. In my painting class this semester in university, we were not allowed to paint with synthetic bristles. We had to paint with hog hair. This brush was $15. I know that's not overly expensive for brushes, but you bet I'm still a little bitter about it. But I mean, they're not bad. I find they tend to leave grooves in the paint and they don't paint as smoothly or as nicely, especially when you're painting on wood panel, which is mainly what we painted on in that class. So eventually when I noticed other people were bringing in their own brushes and they weren't using the brushes we were supposed to use, I also did that because it made my life easier. And then I just had more brushes to use because these brushes were so much more expensive. I ended up only, I only bought five and it's just nice to have a better selection while you're painting. A brand of brushes that I really, really like is the, oh look, Royal and Langnickel again. They should really sponsor me, I have decided. They have not decided, but I have decided because basically I just buy their brushes. But these are their soft grip brushes and I don't like short handled brushes, but because these have the soft grippy things, kind of like a pencil grip, it's like holding a pencil, so they're so nice to paint teeny tiny details with because it's like holding a pencil. They have, I just find I have really good control with these brushes and they're very, very comfortable in my fingers. All right, so that is everything, guys. If there's anything you take away from this video, I highly recommend you buy the Royal and Langernickel Zen brushes for your acrylic painting because one, they are inexpensive, but still last a relatively long time. Two, they're lightweight and they come with a long handle so you have lots and lots of control while you are painting. Three, they have synthetic bristles which makes for uh, much smoother brush strokes. Four, they are the right amount of stiffness for painting in acrylic paint. And they also come in just an excellent variety of sizes and brush tips. And overall for painting natural, um, natural things such as like landscapes, and wildlife and like I guess even people were more natural. Anything without really really harsh lines you're gonna want rounds and filberts because they don't create harsh lines and I highly recommend liner brushes for fine details. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again next Thursday.